Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. You are welcome to this awesome session. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're welcome to the atmosphere of possibilities with Sister Iris. Thank you so much for joining this amazing family. God bless you. If you're new, I welcome you in the name of Jesus. If you're old, thank you for always coming back. Thank you for standing with me and thank you for supporting this channel. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are beautifully made. You're wonderfully made. You don't need to do an extraordinary thing to have whatever thing you want to have. The God that created you knows what you want. He, know what, he knows what you need. There is a man for every woman. There is a woman for every man. All you need to do is to stay calm and wait for your own turn and wait for your own time. You need not to go extra mind to have whatever thing you need to have in order for you to accomplish your mission. The God that created you knows you need finances. The God that created you knows you need a husband. The God that created you knows you need a wife. You need not to go an extra mile. The theme verse for this word is from the book of Proverbs chapter 31 verse 30 I read. Proverbs chapter, oh, thank you, Jesus. I read in the name of Jesus. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But the woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. That is the word of the Lord for somebody. You need not to cast a spell on somebody before you be with that person. Allow things to happen naturally. The Bible says charm is deceptive. As a child of God, God has given you everything you need for life and godliness. Do not go an extra mile to have that thing. Do not go an extra mile to have that marriage. Do not go an extra mile to have that relationship. God says charm is deceptive, which means all those things will fade away. But things that God gives them to you naturally is permanent. I pray for you on that grace. Every peer pressure that wants you to do something that you are not supposed to do. May God set you free from it in the name of Jesus. I pray may God gives you that grace, the time, the strength to wait for your own turn to come. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Now may the Lord bless you, may he keep you. May the Lord cause his countenance to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may the Lord give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you, great people of God, and I will see you in the next session. God bless you. Shalom.